Controversy is building over Madison Square Garden's use of facial recognition, recognition technology to screen its guests, but not for safety reasons. And now, as Fox 5's Lisa Evers tells us, elected officials are demanding answers. Madison Square Garden is one of the most famous sports and entertainment venues in the country. But now its owner, James Dolan, is coming under scrutiny for a facial recognition system that's used to screen all who enter and ban attorneys who work for firms with pending lawsuits against MSG. A spokesperson for MSG tells us once the litigation is over, the attorneys are welcome back. But elected officials are speaking out. Over the last six months, we have seen extraordinary outrageous and alarming use of biometric technology. The group, which includes members of the city council, state legislature and Congress, displayed a letter they sent to James Dolan demanding that MSG only use facial recognition technology for security purposes. An MSG spokesperson tells us that they do not store data except on those who are banned. The officials say MSG should be clear about its practices since it receives an annual state tax abatement worth more than $40 million and other benefits like liquor licenses from the state. I think this is allowed under a New York State liquor license. So I wrote a letter to the SLA saying pull their licenses if they continue to do this. A spokesperson for MSG denies the officials claim that they maintain a large database of biometric information and tells us facial recognition technology is a useful tool widely used throughout the country. We have always made it clear to our guests and to the public that we use facial recognition as one of our tools to provide a safe and secure environment for our customers and ourselves. But the officials say MSG needs to be more transparent about the use and collection of the data already in its possession. At MSG, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.